Canterbury High School, we're passionate about the environment. Let's check in with students and staff for an update on some of the ways we're making a difference. Hi Ms. Edgeberg. Um what is the school doing to be environmentally friendly? Um, well... Three things that Thornbury currently does. We are... Um... <laughs> I don't litter. I recycle. I'm not doing much at all. What is your department doing to aid the environment? Oh, well, well we, we do lots of recycling. We um, get all the newspapers from the, the library. We get people to bring containers from home that we use for water jars and paint. Oh, and we get people to bring meat trays that are washed, obviously, and they can put paint on them. I'll just show you. Look. Sorry. Um, as part of the science department, we make sure that we recycle our rubbish and we have a bin in each of the classrooms to make sure that um, all of our students are recycling rubbish. The lab also makes sure all of the waste, so because we use a lot of chemicals and things, all of the waste gets put into the appropriate disposal units. Perfect example of the stuff that we get from people so we can recycle it for other purpose for art. Hi, um, so what is your department doing to be environmentally friendly? We are recycling our boxes and all of our vegetable scraps into the garden and out into the recycling bins. What else could your department be doing? We could be doing cans and bottles as well. I suppose our media department looks at going mostly paperless, which is of course supporting the environment. Uh, we are mostly a digital community in the media department, so we try and avoid printing at all costs. Um, what else can your department do to aid the environment? Well, we make sure that the lights are turned off at the end of the session. We don't waste water. We use as much water as we need, but not, you know, turn the taps off. I guess we could make it more well known what we're doing and perhaps, um, you know, even more so for the students to know exactly why we're recycling and what the importance of it is. And who do you, whose responsibility do you think it is, the governments or the schools? I think it's everybody's. It's everybody's responsibility to look after the environment. Uh, funding needs to come from the government and the school needs to make sure they're doing their part. Can you name three things the school is currently doing to be environmentally friendly? Wow, that's an interesting one. Um, I think that all the departments are working hard to make students aware of the issues of the environment. Um, we have a um, water tanks that we can use water you know, for. We have recycling um, bins all through the school. Uh, they're recycling cardboard, recycling paper and bottles and recycling vegetable scraps. We have the big recycling bins everywhere. Uh, we have students who help with the recycling and we make sure that our paper gets put in the right places. What are you doing to be environmentally friendly? I keep a lot of plants in my room and I look after them and plant them and I recycle. I have a compost bin in the kitchen so I compost all of me and my family, we compost all of our food scraps. Put my rubbish in the bin more often, I wouldn't throw it on the ground and I wouldn't throw stuff out of the car window. When it's moving. I save water by having a um, a sort of like bucket in the sink so we put our dishwater on the garden to save water and also to help plants. Well I turn the lights off when I go out of a room so that saves electricity. So they're three things I guess. I think it's um, everyone's responsibility. I think it's not just the government. I think there's a big role for students to play. I think a lot of students seem to be more conscious of the fact that the environmental, the environment is under threat and that we need to do something about it. You don't want to sort of drag people kicking and screaming to, to change their ways. I think you, you need to give them a chance to to make improvements, to make changes and then 
hopefully reinforce that by giving them positive feedback. I think um, probably different groups are doing different things. We have this um, recycling thing that happens here at the school on a regular basis and um, that seems to be working quite well. Has the school considered any sorts of renewable energy? We have, but uh, that's as far as we've gone. We've considered it, but we haven't really taken much action. And Is that because lack of funding or because of lack of commitment? I think, I think a bit of both. I think there's a lack of commitment, but also a lack of money available to do these sorts of things. I think they just, there's just this expectation that, that everyone's a greenie and that they'll you know, do the right thing by the environment. And everyone's, I think everyone is waiting for other people to do things and nothing really happens in, in many cases. So I think there's a long way to go.